Today I will show you an easy way how can we adjust skin color in Photoshop using hue and saturation layer. Let me say the normal healthy looking skin color photograph with the proper lighting for example natural light should be within HSL color range. If you look at HSL circle and 360 degrees radius we can identify every color shade and for healthy looking skin color we need range from 20 to 30 degrees hue so everything below 20 degrees will be leaning towards magenta or blue colors and everything above 30 degrees will be leaning towards yellow or green so the optimal range for a healthy looking skin between 20 and 30 degrees hue. Okay, let's take a look at this image. I will press F8 button on my keyboard to bring out the info panel. It will display three channels and we will select HSB color for the eyedropper tool. So the, the first channel, that's the one we'll be paying attention to, stands for hue. And let me select the eyedropper tool. With the help of the mouse, I will examine the skin on our image. And as I move the mouse, you see the values are moving and changing. And what we're getting is 10, 9, 19, 17, meaning that the color of a skin is too magenta or too blue. Now, to fix skin color, we'll be adding hue and saturation adjustment layer. So let me add the layer. And I will select the red channel and take the hue slider and move it all the way to the right. So our image will become blue avatar, but don't worry about it. We're going to fix it very soon. So next step, we will take this bottom slider and let me move the left side to the left. So this way, because we will be working with the right side of the slider, we have a little bit more room on that side. And we'll take this middle one and we'll move it to zero degrees. And take this right slider and we'll be moving it to 20 degrees. Just like that. Looking at the image, we can see that hue and saturation layer showing in green areas below 20 degrees for example 15 17 7 and so on so now we have a better understanding the area of the skin that need correction since we created that interesting effect let's create copy of hue and saturation layer by pressing ctrl or command j on our keyboard and switch to the magenta make sure it's standing at 180 plus on a hue slider this top layer will be helper layer that will help us to make an adjustment to the image and let's switch to the bottom hue and saturation layer and this one again we will select the magenta channel bring slider to the middle to zero and now we will start moving it to the right until we will get desired result something about 21 percent now we can disable the helper layer and that's the image uh, the, the skin color that we get this is before and this is after and again if you want to bring the uh, color of the lips back so we can select the brush, black brush, and on the mask, we will be start painting with the brush, bringing the color of the lips back. And that's what we have. We have before and after. Okay, so let me take the uh, eyedropper tool to examine the skin tone. And let me create another layer by pressing shift Control alt E on the keyboard and this way I'm going to have a much better 
reading and that's what we're getting we're getting 20 degrees hue on our skin tone 